uh, heritage restoration, 3D printing, uh, to name just a few things there. I mentioned Twitch. Twitch is a live stream service. It's sort of YouTube, but everything is live on the platform. And we have a spin-off channel, which is Wi-Fi Sheep on Twitch. So it's twitch.tv forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep. And every Sunday night, we broadcast a live program called 8 Till Late. So that's 20 hundred hours. Well, it's BST now. It was GMT, but it's BST. And we usually run for about two, three hours. And um, that's myself uh, presenting usually a presentation or we're running a vintage video game. So we do a lot of Nintendo and PlayStation video presentations. Uh, and it's something a little bit different to add on to our main Wi-Fi Sheep on YouTube stream. Now, not this weekend, but next Sunday, that's going to be May the 5th. We're doing something a bit special and a bit different. I am teaming up with AMCOG, that's Anthony Bertram. And we are doing a live Risk OS presentation on 8 till 8. So this will be from 2000 hours BST on our Twitch stream service. And we're going to be running all the AMCOG back catalogue of games, as well as doing a demonstration live of Risk OS. So you can tune into that. You just have to go to the web address. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to be a member. You can just sign straight in by going to the web address and we'll be live from 2000 hours. And we think it's probably a first for the Twitch platform. We know some people have done vintage Archimedes and BBC Micro before, but I think this is the first time of doing an actual, if you like, modern platform presentation. So we're quite excited about that. And we'll be doing a lot of uh, tweeting on our Twitter platform. So that's at Wi-Fi Sheep on Twitter. And if you follow us on there, you'll be able to get all the latest news of when we're broadcasting and the projects and things that we're doing. Now, the past show we just did, which was the uh, very successful Southwest show in Bristol, and uh, a lot of interesting Wi-Fi sheep there, and our YouTube channel passed 500 subscribers for the first time, which was a huge success. So to reward everybody for that, I released a disc image of some of the BBC Micro projects I've been working on, the games such as Nano Gangs, which came here to Wakefield two years ago and was demoed. And I also did software called Sparkworks, which has a fireworks simulator running on the BBC Micro that was done for Bletchley Park. It was done for the National Computer Museum as an example. These were never released publicly. So to say thank you to everybody, and the fact is people knew about the products because they'd seen the demos and the videos, we released the disc image for free on the website. And what's more, we used the JSB emulator, which is a BBC Micro emulator that's open source and free and runs live in your web browser which meant you just had to click a link from the YouTube video and it booted the disk image live inside your modern PC or Mac web browser. You didn't even need to download any software. So of course this brought a whole new generation of people who don't want to run the emulators but are curious in the software could just click once and play and they got an exposure to an Acorn based platform. And that for us has been a huge benefit of what we've been working on. So more recently, we have released a free distribution of RISC-OS 5 for the Raspberry Pi. Now, this is built on our old paywall version. Um, those of you that were customers of IDENT Computer may remember that you could buy a licensed version of RISC-OS that came with the product. Well, of course, Castle has now been sold to RISC-OS Developments. The licenses have all changed. So we have decided to open up our operating system build, which is a stock rule build, so the binaries are exactly the same, but we've added a lot of software and setup features on top, and we've released this free from our website, which is www.ident-online.co.uk forward slash computer. And we're going to use this operating system with a new series of videos on YouTube to basically showcase the operating system to a brand new audience internationally. So we're not just talking veteran risk OS users. We're not just talking people in the UK. So I'm going to be introducing how this OS works. We're going to start right at the beginning. This is risk OS on your Raspberry Pi. It does this, it does that, and we can be able to program it using BBC Basic. Already there's been a huge amount of interest. I've been inundated with emails and messages and tweets. People saying, oh, it's fantastic, Tom. You know, I've downloaded this for the very, very first time. And that is our core audience. And this is what makes us so different from any other risk rest company, is that I'm chasing after a brand new core audience. So as I said, it's a free download now. www.ident-online.co.uk forward slash downloads. You click on the risk OS tab, and it's there to download as a zip. You unzip it, it's in an IMG file or an image file, and then you can use something like Etcher. We suggest Etcher 
which is a free program for Mac, PC, and Linux, and you can flash it to an SD card, put it into a Raspberry Pi, and it'll boot. And it should boot on any Raspberry Pi, regardless of the age or model. It should be completely cross-compatible. So I talk a little bit about aims and goals about where we're going. So our distribution contains emulators, networking tools, games, our basic app, and some examples, and there's all sorts of little things hidden inside the operating system that we're going to sort of reveal later on for our video series. It's free for everyone to use. It also replaces the IDENT risk rs 5 build. So those of you that were customers that have the older uh, pay builds, this is that build with added features. So we're going to suggest that everybody, whether you're a customer or not, to come and upgrade to this build of the operating system. It will be fully supported by the Wi-Fi Sheep YouTube channel and social media platforms. So there's a big marketing campaign going behind that as well. And as I mentioned, I'm attempting to build a brand new community of users. And these are people that are going to be 10, 11, maybe through to their mid 40s, 50s. I put the age range of 16 to 45, but you get the idea. People that maybe are nostalgically interested, perhaps, but it's important that they do not have to have any previous knowledge of Acorn, they don't need to know what a BBC Micro was, and they don't care about what RiskOS did when the company broke apart a few years. They don't give a damn about that, and they don't care about compilers, they don't care about... That. All they want to know is, is it fun to use, will it be a good weekend project for me, and could it attract a brand new user base? And I know that's going to be a bit controversial for some people, but that's exactly where I'm at, and I make no apologies for that, and that's the way we're going. So we see ourselves still here, maybe not in these risk OS shows, they may not last another 20 years, but we see ourselves perhaps with the risk OS in a development forum in 20 years' time, no problem with hopefully a brand new user base if we can attract new users to the platform. So if there's one thing you want to do that would really, really help me and it costs you nothing, is to go to our YouTube channel and click subscribe. Now, you do need to be a registered YouTube member. It doesn't cost you anything, and subscribing doesn't mean you pay money. It just means your account is subscribed to us. You get the updates. The way Google works, Google owns YouTube, is the more subscribers you get, the more coverage the channel gets, and financially through advertising revenue, that helps me to fund this channel and be able to offer all the free content back to the user community. So the one thing I need, more than anything else, is for people to gift me your subscriptions it's free, it doesn't cost you anything, you just have to register a YouTube account if you don't have one. And that is the, you won't believe how much that helps me out. Such a simple thing that costs you nothing in is five minutes of your time helps me enormously. So I said like and subscribe. We have, we have more content such as our um, radio, past radio shows and podcasts are on our uh, Wi-Fi Sheep website. That's ident-online.co.uk forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep. Uh, we do run a Patreon service that I'll come back to in a minute. That's for people who'd like to give donation, financial donations to the channel. Um, that all works in American dollars because it's an American service. Uh, and then, of course, we have our Twitter, which you can follow us if you're registered on Twitter. It's at Wi-Fi Sheep on Twitter. And we usually post all the latest video news on, from YouTube and Twitch when we go live. Okay, let's talk products 2019. So the big news is that we are reissuing Micro One. For those of you who might remember IDENT Computer from a couple of years ago, one of our first products we released was the Micro One kit computer that created a sort of pseudo BBC Micro box that a Raspberry Pi sat in. And it was relatively successful, but it was also rather expensive. And I am really appreciative of the support that I got from you, the risk rest community, that did buy the product which is fantastic, but the product didn't do very well outside the risk rest community because it was too expensive and maybe too complicated. That's a problem. My products are going to have to do better outside the risk rest sphere. So we've reissued the machine. The difference is this time that we're issuing it as a set of downloadable PDF files, which you then print out, and you can build the machine using foam board, and cardboard. Oops, that wasn't good. It's not even my mouse, it's great. <laughs> so the kit is now designed to use off the shelf five millimeter foam board. You can buy that from art shops, the range, the works, other high street stores, and then 1.5 millimeter card mount board. 
really easy, really cheap materials. And it's a set of, so it's a set of plans. So it has a full instruction manual with visuals of how to build. And then the last four pages of the document are the actual PDF files you can print off. You cut those out. And you can see here, you then stick the paper and then cut out and then simply stick A to A, B to B, 3 to 3, etc. It goes together using uh, hot mount glue. And you can buy hot mount glue guns from Poundland. So it's not expensive. It's not difficult. The kit has been slightly modified to make cutting simpler. It's simple straight cuts with a steel ruler now. There's no complicated curves or odd shapes. Now we have other ways to buy. For those of you, um, the kit has gone up on our Patreon service. So it's a digital download. We have a sample version, which is free, but doesn't contain the parts. It's just the instruction manual. And there's a pay version that has an encryption key. We have set up a tier on our Patreon service, all links through our website, which is 12 US dollars. And that releases a key for you to then be able to download and unlock the PDF file to print. Now, I appreciate that many of you probably aren't going to be comfortable with using the Patreon service because it's a subscription service. So if you don't cancel it, it'll keep taking the money out every month. But you can buy it once, get the key, and then cancel. That's fine. But what we have done today is we've released a disk copy for £15. The disk contains the file. It has its own encryption key. And it also contains the disk image for our RISC-OS build. And we have a slightly more advanced version that contains the screw fixings and the required USB leads to build the machine. We have the keyboards that fit at £20. The kit is quite versatile, so if you can get a board cheaper that fits, either smaller or larger, it will take a number of boards because the way the kit's designed, you can cut out a mount, basically, to fit the board. So it's quite versatile in what parts it will take. But we do have a show offer today, which is the keyboard and the advanced kit for £40. That basically means you just need to add cardboard and a Raspberry Pi, and you've got all the other bits are there, £40. <laughs> That's a long way from the £200-plus pound mark of the Mark IV model, and suddenly that makes it far much more accessible, and with our online distribution model through Patreon, we can sell these all over the world to anyone who's interested, and they can source the parts locally. It, you know, it's much easier to build, and you don't need to any soldering, any electronics experience. So we think it's, uh, it's the way to go, and it's, it's a good use of the Micro One design. OK, Ident C. Now, this was launched last year. This is our 3D print casing solution. <laughs> Shortly after its release, we did a licensing deal. I'll just show you. That there was the original three units of the family. And we did a licensing deal with Andy Marks at Risk Respites, which means Risk Respites took over the distribution of the C model. So a new version was released. It was branded up as Risk Respites. Andy still has a number of stock. Our licensing agreement has now come to a close on good terms, but it came to a close. Andy still has stock. I also have stock. And we did two versions. So we did the Risk Respites C, which Andy still has. He's got stock here today. And we did Wispy. Now, Wispy was a twin stack solution, similar to what this unit is. The Risk Rest C can stack like a Risk PC could. And this actually allowed you to run a separate Orange Pi board, which then could connect to the internet via Wi Fi and then link its Wi Fi to Risk OS on the Raspberry Pi board in the lower deck. So basically, it gave you a way of having a Wi Fi internet access. The other beauty was that you could actually run Linux applications within your RiskOS environment, including the better HTML5 compatible web browsers, but for Linux only, you could actually run them inside RiskOS and have Wi-Fi. It was a brilliant solution. I originally came up with a similar solution, which is what this is, but Andy's, to be honest with you, was a better solution than what we had. And as we were very small companies, we decided it would be detrimental for both of us to try and attack each other in a small market. So Andy has better technology. I have the casing technology. We came together and we built Wispy CE, which is a Risk of Bits project, and he still has those in stock at the moment. So my stock, what's left, is the blue and black, which are the IDENT branded ones. So there's cases are in at £30. It's the same price on Andy's stall as well. Uh, I also have the um, 
stands as well, which USB stands, so the unit can mount, a single slice can mount upright and has a USB interface in the front of it. And they're at £20. Extra slice kits, both myself and Andy have these in stock. I have the blue ones, Andy has the white ones, allowing you to build a unit like this one. They're at £27 and it allows you just to keep stacking. You can buy multiples and stack and stack and stack and you can fit internals inside. In fact, I noticed the Midland stand had a, uh, a, a Wispy CE unit which had some very interesting modded kit inside it. So they'd actually gone and managed to fit static um, drives and things inside. So it's well worth looking at that. So I was actually quite impressed by what they'd gone and done with the stock hardware which we provided. <laughs> Okay, and then there's general inquiries. So it's info at ident-online.co.uk. That's the general inquiries line for me. Uh, my own personal, you can get me at tom at ident-online. And my own personal Twitter is at tomw underscore ident. So that, I think, kind of wraps up where we are at the moment. So I think we're in time. Um, oh, yeah, we're in time. So I have the leaflets for Wi-Fi sheep. You might have seen these floating around. I've got some here. They're on my stand and they're also out the front. Uh, and I'm happy to open the floor to any questions. Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, oh, I am impressed. We are doing this well. OK. With the end of the risk cost bits sort of agreement, what you, are you able to say what your future plans are going forward? Um, it's going to be a long question or it's a gonna, short or long, well, short answer. They, there, is, there is stuff in the works. I have to stress that myself and Andy, we're on very, very good terms, and they can't rule out we wouldn't do something again in the future. Our licensing agreement, we only went for 12 months as a trial run. So we've sort of decided, mm, it's sort of Andy's still got stock, and I've said to him that the CE can probably live with him for the time being. Um, I am in talks with some other providers. There's some other stuff potentially in the works. Uh, I don't really want to say too much at the moment, but all I can say is that there's a lot of very, very talented people out there in that room, and it's been a real privilege to work with some of them in the past and some of them going forward, and I, we have got some generally exciting stuff coming up that is, I'm hoping by the time we get to London, we have to say this is something else, but that is literally all I'm going to say, I'm sorry. But <laughs> Anybody else? Anyone like to ask me what I had for lunch? No? <laughs> what did you have for lunch, Tom? I had a bread roll. <laughs> Outside in the rain. <laughs> okay, well... Um, thank you, Tom. Thank oh, you thank you. So, yeah, I stand... I don't compete a Wi-Fi sheep down in the, uh, the second of the two rooms. So, like, my dad is on the stand today, Simon. He's, he's first risk ratio, he's come with me. Usually it's my partner, Anna, but she wasn't busy, so Dad stepped in, so he's all a bit baffled. It's all a bit new for him. He's a Mac user, so that's all he, that's all he knows. That's all he knows, but be nice to him. So anyway, Simon's down there at the bottom, but thank you so much.